Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. It's another pickups video guys, well you all know how much I love my toys, don't I? Yeah I've got a real obsession for them haven't I suddenly, hmm, I've been on for a while now actually. Yeah and this game room is starting to really really fill up with them, but I can't stop. They're fantastic guys, yeah, you know I love my toys. In fact, I think I love them a bit. Too much. Oh yes, I certainly do. Love them way too much, guys. Way too much. It just keeps on going. More and more and more of them. Oh dear God, I'm being swamped. But the thing is, they're gorgeous. They really are. I mean, look at them. They're beautiful, guys. Beautiful, I tell you. Come on, how can you deny it? Beautiful. Oh, just just stunning. The, the sculpts on them, guys, are fantastic. And, of course, some of the sculpts aren't as fantastic, but, you know, they're still worth collecting, aren't they? All these little odds and sods. From the more unusual to the more common. And of course the fantastic, fantastic collectibles sent by subs. Ah, it's gizmo. But yeah, guys, mainly it's about those fantastic, fantastic collections. Yeah, it's about those more than anything, guys, isn't it? And of course I've even started on these things, haven't I? Yeah, your Funko Pops. So no doubt that's going to get worse as well. And even these little stinkers are making their way into my game room. So I ask you guys, what the hell did I get now? Oh, it's getting too much. Dear me. I might have a lot of toys in here. And in the end, I might not even be able to fit in myself. And the kids certainly won't have a... Well, well if they do come in here, they're going to get lost permanently, aren't they? Oh dear. So yes, guys. I've got a bit of an obsession for toys, just a bit. And honest to God, it's taken nearly 50 years for me to get completely obsessed with them. Jesus, I mean, I picked up the odd one now and again in the past, but bloody hell, since this lockdown, guys, and I couldn't get out and do proper pickups, it's all gone mental. But yeah, I'm still enjoying it, though, guys, I'm loving it. So, huh, I've got no excuses, I love it. So yes, guys, what did I pick up today, on this fair day, on this Friday, in fact? This uh, bit miserable looking, but extremely hot Friday. Right, it's all from b &Ms, guys, this time. And I'll tell you what, I've picked up some bloody doozies. I'm going to start with the, uh, the little one, shall we say. And that is the very first Pez. Yeah, I've started on the bloody Pezes now as well, and it's an Angry Birds one. To be fair, in uh, B&M's they don't have a lot of gaming ones. This was the only one, in fact, they had on the whole display. And it's Angry Birds. But you know, I love Angry Birds. So I picked it up, guys. And as you can see, the sculpt on it is pretty damn nice, considering it's a Pez dispenser. Of course, you're going to have the packets of sweets in the bottom, which will never be eaten, because they're just going to stay in there, because it's not being opened. Mm. The good thing about this, guys, is if they get more in, they're only a quid. One pound. That is fantastic. And as I say, it's brand new and sealed for a quid. Brilliant. So that's number one. So yeah, I love that. Now I'm starting on them and all. Oh, there's no hope. But then back on to ones that I've been collecting already. A different set, guys, because I completed the last one. So I'm starting a new one. And I'm, I bought all three in one hit. So I'm only one missing guys which is tails so i think you can guess where this is heading it's heading towards sonic the hedgehog again yes guys this is a series that i don't even know what it's called all i know is that they've all got a, a football theme to them you get a football with it uh in this case it's actually no i'm telling a lie it's a basketball with this one uh it's the sonic the hedgehog collection again 
uh, as I say, no name on there, just all to do with ball games, really. Um, I've looked all over the boxes and I can't find anything. And the first one I'm going to show you is Knuckles. Now, look at that, guys. Isn't that bloody gorgeous? Look at it. And you get, as I say, you get the ball with it. Knuckles has a basketball. Look at the sculpt again, guys. It is just fantastic. It's phenomenal. It really is. They are bloody lovely. Look at them. And as I say, there is four in the set. And I'm missing Tails. Him there. There we are. Missing him. There we are. Lovely, lovely looking things. These. They really are. Absolute. It's no wonder I keep picking them up. They're bloody lovely. Jack Specific again, guys. They are just the kings of this. They really are. They're the bloody kings. So, yeah. Knuckles. Moving on. <clears throat> oh, this is a gorgeous one, guys. This is a gorgeous one. This has one got a soccer ball with this one. And it is Shadow of the Hedgehog. Look at that. Yeah, he's got a soccer ball with him. There we are, guys. You can see his sculpt a bit better there. As long as it focuses in, all right. But yeah, these, this is a gorgeous set, guys. And I can't wait to get my hands on there. Knuckles. Now, luckily enough with these sets, uh, B&M's always seem to get them in. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, they are £7.99 each. So they're not cheap, guys. They're eight quid. Um, so, yeah. They're a bit more on the... Uh, I wouldn't say expensive, but they're, uh, you know, they hold their own. But can you imagine what they're going to be worth one day in a million years when the archaeologists find them still in their boxes? <laughs> but yeah, having the complete sets, guys, that helps a lot because you can sell the complete lot if, uh, together if you wanted to in the future anytime. Not that I'm going to. My kids are going to inherit this lot. And then it'll be up to them to whether to, to preserve it or flog it off. There we go. Brilliant. Yeah, lovely, lovely sculpt on that one. Fantastic. See a soccer ball with that one. And the last one, guys, because it's a very quick pickup. Just four items, really, isn't it? Uh, and this one has got a soccer ball as well. Uh, let's have a look. Is that a netball then in that one? I'm not too sure. No, it is a soccer ball. Yeah, they're both soccer balls. Mm. But this one looks like your standard soccer ball, and it's Sonic himself. With uh, as you can see there, he's got Green Hill written on his shirt there. Green Hill, they've all got something written on them. But yeah, just a standard black and white soccer ball there. But isn't it gorgeous again? Look at that. Look at the sculpt on it. They are beautiful. Say so Jack Specific, wow, they are blinding, they really are. And for an obsessed toy collector like I've suddenly become, never thought I would. Um yeah, they are the kings. They really are. And again, I'll say there, guys, all four there at the bottom. Yeah, that is lovely, though. That with the uh, standard, what we all know as the soccer ball, black and white. Yeah, brilliant. As I say, they've all got something written on their chest. This one has Green Hill. See if I can make the other two out. They're a little bit difficult to see, but um, what does that one say? Not too sure. No, I can't make it out. Maybe you can better than me with the camera. It says, I'm giving it a tap <laughs> with my big hand. See if you can make it out. No, probably not. But yeah, they've all have something written on there. And it's all levels, I do believe. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if I can see what's on front of Knuckles, shall I? Uh, Knuckles says, oh, Angel Island. Angel Island on that one. But the only one I can't make out, guys, is, is that one, unless you can. Because I certainly can't, not in my half dark game room anyway. But yeah, that is, oh, they are stunning. They are really, really stunning looking bloody figures. So yes, guys, mm, I've started a new one now, haven't I? Eh? What were the blinking pezzes? Oh, can you imagine how many of them there is? There must be tons of them out there. So yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes open for them. He says, if we don't break it. Uh, yeah, so that's another one to start on, blinking pezzes. I saw a few more Funko Pops as well, which I might uh, aim at getting next week if I manage to get to B&M's. I'm back at work next week. And you can tell I'm off this week, can't you? Because I look hairier than flipping Grizzly Adams. I mean, look at that. Jesus. Because you get lazy, don't you, when you're off? And I haven't really been anywhere. So I'm going to have a nice shave today and I'll look back to my normal self, hopefully. 
but yes guys I've, I've got a week off work and that's just as well because my car's in the garage so getting fixed from a bin wagon in it mm. but yeah hopefully i will have it back soon uh, i have got a higher car but uh, i always get a bit nervous when i have a higher car i think oh my god if a bin wagon hit mine what's it going to do to a blinking higher car I couldn't live with that. Oh no, Jesus! So I'm on tender hooks every time I hear a bloody noise outside. I'm at the window having a look, see if my flipping hire car's been it. But it hasn't yet. Touch very thick wood. Um, yes, guys. Anyway, that was another pickups video. Completely went off track there. Uh, done and dusted. So I hope you're still enjoying these, and I hope you're still enjoying my channel, guys. If you are, make sure you like, comment, and that you are subscribed. Indeed, do, 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 do. Um. Plus, guys, don't forget, we're getting very close now to the 26th, aren't we? And that is when I'm going to be pulling my 400 sub giveaway, guys, for that beautiful cosmic black 3DS. Uh, original 3DS. Uh, the charger and the stylus have not quite arrived yet. Hopefully they will be there in time. If not, then obviously I'll just send it a few days later. Uh, yeah, stunning little thing, that. And as I keep saying, it's magic. Mm, it's a magic 3ds guys so yeah fantastic fantastic little prize so if you do want to enter that obviously head over to my playlist at the top and find the giveaway uh playlist and just go to the uh, most recent one guys and uh, the rules are very simple you must be a subscriber and you do one comment per person on that video guys and then you'll be entered into the draw on the 26th where me and josh as usual, in usual Joshy fashion, we're going to uh, use a comment generator to pick the winner, guys. And then we'll uh, put the video up straight away and uh, let everybody know who the lucky, lucky, lucky person is. So with that, guys, I'm going to say, off videos in, tschüss, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.